happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be great here. Great to you. see you. Now, we're going to get into the film. It is so good. I just, I just love watching it. You are hilarious. Uh -huh. This is so funny. You're humorous. <laughs> but let's talk about the holidays first. Do you have any holiday traditions? Holiday traditions around my house really involve, obviously, exchanging gifts and just cooking. Mm. Uh, so um, my daughter has taken up uh, she she got a lot of recipes from my mom. Really? Oh, that's so she's a good cook? She's a great cook. She's incredible. So for Thanksgiving, she made, we do a thing, a corn pudding, you know, a southern thing that she does now. She, did, she does uh, pies. Ooh. She did a pumpkin pie and an apple pie and all, and it's just fantastic. So, so we need to come to your house and you eat. Yeah. No. And it's nice because we do it together, she and I. Cook. Do you cook? I do. What do you cook, Trace? I cook bread. whatever you need to be cooked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, cook, I cook the food. I do. I do. I do. I, I'm, I'm the mac and cheese girl, and I do the greens at home, yeah. Oh, you cook down like that. I do. I cook really well. Now, look at you looking sideways. Said, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm impressed, but I'm actually a professional eater. <laughs> Me too! And I take, I take it very seriously. Do you, you take pride in judging I it? do. I, you know, I'm a really good guest. You know, I'll wash a dish <laughs> too. Yeah. Now, are you the kind of break a tradition. dish by? You buy some from the store and say, here you go, or? No, ma'am. You taking the food from the house? No, I take them some kind of, you know, Uncle Nearest liquor or something hey, like that. there you, you hear go. Me? Okay. Yeah. There you but go. But I'm, I'm a really good guest, and, you know, I have to say that there's a lot of people who do it better than me. That's my tradition, okay. to find out who they are. I, I like that. I'm going to take that type of cook. I'm not a cook. I was impressed that your daughter cooks like that. Oh, she's amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen, okay, so I also saw the movie you did with Eddie Murphy, yeah. and I got to work with him on my first film. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like for you working with him? I had a ball. I mean, it was, it was a little bit like this oh. at all times. It was just Christmas everywhere. <laughs> um, but it was so much fun. I mean, it's Eddie Murphy, for goodness sakes. So we, we did a lot of chit-chatting between takes, which I loved. Got in there, did our work, tried to be funny. Um, you were hilarious. I, it was really fun. Yes. It was very fun to do a holiday movie in with Eddie Murphy. I mean, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I in the last so you know six months or so uh, in the last year, I've done a movie with Jeffrey Wright. Yes. And Eddie Murphy. Yes. What are you talking about? You I on mean, the road, honey. I mean, come on. I and see. guess who else I got to work with? Who? Eric Alexander. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Bravo! Oh, Maxine! I made, I made the cut. I made the cut. Thank yes, God. Yes, you did, and you're awesome. And we met years ago. You came to the Dream Girl set. Do you remember that? I do. So I wanted to get some pictures. They were a fantastic cast. Mm -hmm. And um, my uh, ex-boyfriend, Richard Lyons, shout out, dialogue coach. I never hey, knew man, he was your ex-boyfriend. me on the set. <laughs> I, I took, always loved photography, and I took my camera, and I was taking pictures. I took pictures of you and Jamie Foxx, and of course, Beyonce. And one day I'll find out where they are. I was gonna ask, <laughs> can I get a copy? <laughs> but it was fantastic, and you were very, very gracious. Thank you. Yes, oh and my God. young, and beautiful, and fresh, and you were on your way, and you got that Oscar. Mm. Jesus, man. Oh, but I made it. Yes. yes. Okay, I cannot get over this. Erica, it's been yes, 30 years since Living Single. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Day. Look at that suit. <laughs> oh, I was fierce. Ah, you still are fierce. <laughs> Thank fierce. you. It, it was 30 years ago. Um, and I'm grateful this year it was at Warner Brothers, The Ranch. We all came together. Thank you, Yvette Lee Bowser, for giving us the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been very gratified to play that role. A lot of people have come up to me, like Stacey Abrams, Marilyn Mosby, um, uh, Ina Presley, and said that they went into law and politics and leadership positions because of to aspire. Um, like her, to be like her. So that's wonderful. Mm. I'm glad for it. Yes. And Tracy, it's been 25 years. It's insane. Since the girlfriend. It's so weird because I'm 27. Oh. <laughs> I was 27 there. I'm 51 now. Look at that cute little 21 thing. now. Wow. Fabulous. No, I'm 51 now, not 20. <laughs> I'm, okay. No, no, I'm 51 now. Well, you look good. Uh, look at that. Wow. Yeah. They said oh, you had man. that heritage booty. <laughs> <laughs> you, do. you know what's crazy is, Cord, I did not realize this until after we were done shooting, but we've got 
living single, girlfriends insecure in this movie. Yeah. What? That is crazy. There would be no girlfriends were there no living single. Or there would be world right. all these other like things. All these Everything stack up. Stack up, talking. but then the three of us in this movie is like extraordinary. And that me. is yes. why it's so powerful yeah. and Great so amazing. good. Yeah. Great. That is really awesome because the impact that you guys have made through your work is it empowered and inspires all of us, right? You know what I mean? So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. For everything you brought to the table. Now, old Jeffrey, mm. you won a your Tony 30 years ago for, for Angels in America? Wow. You like the, the golden man because everything you touch oh. gets award buzz. 20, 29 years. Oh, because oh, he looked at me like 30? <laughs> well, say 30 years. That's oh you. Oh my goodness. That, yes, yes. Um, Aw. That, uh, that was a great <laughs> night, and that play was uh, so meaningful to a lot of people, and it really changed my life. I think it made me a better, better human being being a part of that, that play. Look at that. My oh. God. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Aww. You're on the roll, sweet. all of you guys. Wow. And, and all the award buzz y'all have is like, you know, <laughs> you do great things and you've inspired us all. You look so emotional. What you feeling right now? Uh, wow, that's my mom. Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you got me with that one. Mm. Um, picture. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Now, my mom passed away about a year before I got this script for American Fiction. And it was really um, a very much a, uh, the reason that I wanted to tell this story was the relationship mm. that this character had to, uh, to his mother, played by Leslie Uggams. Um, and uh, you got me with that one. Wow, mm. okay. But that was an incredible night. Um, she was, uh, you know, I mean, everything I've done, I've done because of her. Amen. And uh, that night we had, to, we had a chance to celebrate together. It was wonderful. Well, I know she would be proud. Yeah, but you know, that said, the next morning, you know, she was on me like nothing had happened. You know, <laughs> so, my, you know, my, my mom was uh, was uh, was pretty tough, but she was uh, she was an absolute inspiration to me. Beautiful, it's beautiful, yeah. and this is a sign they never leave you. She is with you, and I know she is proud of you. Yeah. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.